log of the Manatee River. That were a tribe um, that were part of the Wampanoag Confederation. And, but they had their own leaders, and, um, and so they had control of what we know as the whole Boston Harbor watershed. The Manatequit was a very active area. It was protected. The river was so important for um, the Native people to survive. They couldn't survive without it. And so they used it, like I said, for commerce and for everyday living and for travel. And, um, and that went on for 10,000 years back to when the last big Wisconsin glacier was here and it melted away. And that's how we got all, all of our little rivers and inlets and ponds and everything around here. The Manatequit River has been used throughout history for industry. The tidal flows in the estuary near the landing and East Braintree held the first mills that ground corn and grain. Over time, the river's swift flow and elevation changes allowed for industry to set up dams to power mills and factories. These establishments held jobs and contributed to the local economy. However, these dams obstructed the passage of anadromous fish such as herring. Through town meetings, the residents who used these fish for bait, fertilizer, and food forced the companies to erect fish ladders. Over time, the interest in the fish declined, and the newer dams did not include fish ladders. One of the dams was called Hollingsworth Pond Dam of the Armstrong Factory. The factory was the location of a paper mill that invented vanilla paper. Armstrong Flooring eventually purchased the structure in 1936. The factory employed many Braintree residents, but also had a history of polluting the river. The area of the river subject to tidal flow, was used for shipbuilding, including Thomas Watson's Four River Engine Company, established in 1883, which later expanded to become the Four River Shipyard. This section of the river was also frequently used to transport goods from port to port. These goods include industrial items such as lumber, coal, and other natural resources. The river was also used throughout early history for recreation. A section of the river along present-day Route 3 was called the Long Pool. The Long Pool provided a slow flow allowing residents to put boats and canoes into the river. It was located on a floodplain of wetlands. After World War II, Braintree drastically changed from being rural to more suburban. Veterans were allowed to buy houses with benefits from the GI Bill, creating neighborhoods adjacent to the river. Currently, many businesses exist on the river because the historical town zoning regulations remain in place. Zoning regulations are laws that the town puts forth to plan where businesses and neighborhoods are located within the municipality. Post-World War II era also led to the rise of the automobile. The Commonwealth of Massachusetts began the construction of Route 3 Expressway in 1954 on the part of the defunct railroad easement, wetlands and floodplain of the, of the Manatequit. The state altered the flow of the Long Pool allowing for the construction of the roadway. With the passage of the Wetlands Protection Act of destructing the wetlands, this activity is illegal today. The highway is also a source of pollution from car oil, fluids, and road salts. The impervious service of the highway increases the runoff and heightens the flood risk by, because the major floodplain was destroyed. Right now, we are standing behind the Braintree Village looking at the beauteous Manatequit River. Watch as it flows. It truly is a sight to see. 
This is one of the most famous waterfalls of the Manadequit River. We drove all the way from South Braintree to East Braintree just to see it. The Monadoquit River is home to a variety of different fish that were consumed by the Native Americans and British colonists. For centuries, people had gone ice fishing in the late winter near Weymouth Landing, fishing for smelt. Other fish in the river included eel, bass, bluefish, and of course, herring. Primarily, the larger fish used herring and smelt as a food source. Herring have been used for a long time throughout history, mostly food. Uh, some herring have used, been used for fertilizer, but it's mo mostly uh, food. Kind of an interesting case between Braintree and Randolph, where Randolph, after Braintree legally, was taking the fish out of the river before the fish got all the way up to Randolph. Every, every spring, people are drawn to herring runs. People love to go and observe the herring running. It's kind of a sign of spring, and a first sign of spring, but people just think it's a beautiful thing. The other thing that people wouldn't think about is how well the recreational fishing would be in the in the river system for freshwater fish, but also in the saltwater system.